everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Stanford Stadium in Athens famous hedges that have encircled the field since the stadium's very first game against Yale back in 1929. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. South Carolina is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Jackson fields at the goal line. He got hit hard. Matt's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at it. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in the 23. made at the 36 yard line good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass pass complete and taken down immediately Second and four. Ball on the 41. And he's tackled at the 48. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 36-yard line, first down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a deep one. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 19. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice run up the middle. Douglas picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Out of bounds, right around the 10-yard line. They gained five yards there. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game. Tenth play of the drive. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. It's first down, and they come to the line with a first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down right around the two-yard line. No gain. That brings him second and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Ready. Run, 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 run. Touchdown, Georgia. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yeah, 
if he punched that in from a short distance, he had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Updating what's going on in Auburn and for Florida. They've won two straight. The Gators get a W that's perfect to them. In other action, the Volunteers held the final spot in the top 25. They hope this one will impress the voters. And for Tennessee, they've won two straight. The Volunteers pull it out by four. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he just gets rid of it. to the back he's at midfield and he's taken down around the 43 yard line well this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback first down first down 10 to go ball on the 43 yard line At the 31. He tackles him for a loss. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. It and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12. South Carolina's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. This is the eighth play of this drive. throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they make the stop at about the 11. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 13.
So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Edwards from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Their own 45 yard line. First down. Georgia is up four. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That brings up second and 13. From the 45-yard line, second down. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. First and ten, ball on the 20. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Bulldogs lead it by four. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He fights forward to about the 36. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 36. Got it, but he's gonna lose yards here. They get a one yard loss on that one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. on the carry. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes. 
Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 34-yard line. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Let's go! And they push him out right around the 48-yard line. Second down and 11 to go. Ball in their own 47. Here we go. Black 90. Black 90. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 37. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They come out on an empty backfield. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Georgia is up by four. Ready! They don't get it. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Play action. Got it, and brought down immediately. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Pitches it, and he'll lose yardage. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 47. And now he pitches it. Tackle made right around midfield. it to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Smith on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 28-yard line, 
First down. Got him. And he goes down quickly. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and South Carolina is going to take their first time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. Again, he'll get the call. They'll bring him down at the 12 yard line. That's how we do, Dina. They don't want none of this. That makes it second and eight. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Brought down at the four-yard line. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Setting up play action. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 69-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out and, and that's what we're seeing today david's ready to get back on that couch get the remote get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country time to get you back for your second half brad and kirk ready to roll Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. So they're just about set to get the game going again. South Carolina is up a field goal. Off up the middle and he's stuck. We've got 
down a second and 11. Ball on their own 26. Run right side. He fights forward to about the 26. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. receiver but it's knocked out let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense that brings us over to this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one he puts it away and it's a great kick he dropped it and he's tackled at the 29 yard line There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That's a game on three on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 32. the middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Thorson is the putter. Van fields it at the 26. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. We're about set to start things up again. South Carolina holds a field goal lead. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They keep it on the ground with a tailback, and he's taken down at the 48. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And down he goes around the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Taken down at the 33. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. From the 33-yard line. First down. Set! Red 18! Red 18! He's tackled at about the seven-yard line. First and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. 
South Carolina has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game five on one play. That brings him second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. That quickly incomplete. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. And he's hit immediately. That last pass got him only a yard. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. it in a hurry. They'll get him for a loss. Huge play for the defense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From their own 17-yard line, first down. He's hit and taken down. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Gets out to around the 38. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Fires it out. Tackle around the 31-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Five wide. Catches it, and that's all. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. That's three down and one to go. South Carolina's got a three-point lead. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Fox 2, Fox 2. 
Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. At the very least, they've got to get in the field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw to the tight end. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. Starts with the tackle at the 47-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Falling back and got his man. And he's tackled around the 40 yard line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a seven yard gain for the halfback on the running play. Again, they go with the halfback here. And again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From the 29 yard line, it's second down. Sell the run, but ends up on the ground. Here's the eighth play of the series. And this is going to be a first down. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. He fires. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Ready. 
And he's going to come up with a sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 31-yard line. I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. We're starting to get to crunch time here, Brad, in this football game. With this offense down by a field goal late in the game, at the very least, they've got to be thinking about a field goal to tie it. And if they get a shot to get a touchdown to take the lead, obviously that would be even better. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 32-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He makes his way to about the 45. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And they make the stop at the 49. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Makes the catch and look out, and he's taken down at the 41. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes right around the 28-yard line. now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run that brings up second and 13. and this is the eighth play of the drive check down, check down. 81, 81. they come out on an empty backfield Ready. Ready. oh and he can't hang on huge drop there Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Just over a minute left. Throws in the middle. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Georgia gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. He's got it with room to run. Let's go! 
And they got it. The Gamecocks taking their first time out of the half. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? He makes it to the 35-yard line. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. tracks with that tackle. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. Picked up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. From the 25-yard line, first down. <laughs> There's a strike complete. Bell gains about four yards there. That makes it seven and six. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Douglas gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Oh, <laughs> 
He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. The defense comes up with a stop on third down. Well, for some reason, they thought they'd be able to pick up the first down on the ground. I'm very surprised they didn't try to pass for it. The kick is up, and it's good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. First and 10, ball on the 25. He's looking for six. It's broken up. There was definitely an opening for the quarterback to try to squeeze that pass in, but it was just a terrific play by the safety to prevent that touchdown. Got the corner. Tackle made at the 12. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 12-yard line, First down. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the nine yard line, third down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the five yard line. Lloyd gains four yards on that reception. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Just like we talked about earlier, now that we're going to a third overtime, the offense must go for two if they score a touchdown. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Under pressure. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here we go. And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. play to set up first and goal that was a nice catch he went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit but he came down with it and got a first down a short yardage defense here one play and he'll lose yards just inside the five second down and he's tackled right around the two-yard line We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Yeah. 
gets to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. his man and they take him down immediately they're about four yards away here on third down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line boy anytime you run the football on third down you've got to get a better push at the line of scrimmage that time the offensive line did not do their job and the back didn't have anywhere to go halfback's got it on the quick throw they'll bring him down at the 18. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. South Carolina, 31, Georgia, 23. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Brad, I'm really disappointed with this performance. Georgia really looked flat out there all game, but they still had a chance to win in overtime. I think they may have underestimated their opponent in this one. 